Hello students. Welcome back to the session today on menu planning. Our health should be one of our main concerns and one way to ensure good health is to eat well. Diet has a powerful yet complex effect on health. In order to provide daily requirement of energy and other nutrients in right amount and proportions through habitually consumed meals that is breakfast, lunch, dinner, appropriate menu planning is essential. Menu planning involves what to eat each day at each meal. As the health and the uh, physical well-being of the family members are dependent on how well they are fed, it is a challenge to every meal manager to meet it. It proves to be satisfying and rewarding if it is well done. Menu planning is an important task as it saves time and energy, promotes healthier choice, it improves our uh, grocery purchasing skills and keep meal time fresh with variety. There are certain uh, terms and uh, concepts which are often used while menu planning and clear understanding of these terms and concepts are essential for efficient menu planning. First, what is diet? Diet refers to whatever we eat and drink each day. It may be normal diet or modified diet. Normal diet what we eat at home or in groups as you do in your hostel. Normal diet does not include any dietary restriction. It should possess all the characteristics of a healthy diet which means it should be well balanced, adequate in all nutrients, moderate in all foods, includes variety and calorie control. When normal diet is altered to suit the change need of an individual due to age or sickness, it is called modified diet. Normal diet is altered by changing the consistency or by increasing or decreasing the nutrient content or by including or excluding a specific food. It is called modified diet. When diet is modified to, due to sickness, it is called therapeutic diet. Second term is meal. Normally we eat three to four times a day. The foods consumed at a particular time of the day constitute a meal. For example, diet eaten in the morning is constitute a meal that is breakfast and generally we eat three main meals breakfast lunch and dinner what is meal frequency meal frequency refers to the numbers of meals consumed in a day meal pattern it refers to the number of meals the timing and nature of different meals consumed in a menu you all know what is menu because you love to explore different types of menu at different restaurants. Menu is the list of dishes or food items served at a meal. Here I have given a two example of the two menus. Menu A is generally followed in South Indian households and menu B is followed in North Indian households. Now what is menu planning? Menu planning is the process of planning and scheduling the intake of meals for a general or a specific individual requirements. In other words, we may define menu planning is as a implementation of the principle of nutrition in one's daily diet in an appetizing way is menu planning. Whoever carries the responsibilities of providing meals has to take decisions regarding what to serve, how much to serve, how much to spend, where to shop, how much to buy, how to serve food, at what hour to serve meal. All these decisions are part of menu planning. Menu planning is a practical exercise which involves applying the knowledge of the food, nutrient requirement and individual preferences to plan and serve 
adequate and acceptable meals. In other words, menu planning is planning for adequate nutrition for the family. What should be the characteristics of the menu planning? Menu plan should not only meet the nutrient requirement, but it should also be concerned with planning and serving a uh, appealing and appetizing meal. Uh, meal must taste good. Meals must smell good because food is seen before it is tested. Because I has a role in the acceptance of the food. Majority of the people will not eat something they do not like even if it has excellent nutritive value. Appetite is pleasurable anticipation of the foods and it depends not only on hunger but also on color, flavor, texture, appearance of the food, pleasantness of the surrounding and the cheerful frame of mind. Meal planning is both an art and science. Art a skillful blending of color, flavor, texture to serve a appealing and acceptable meal. And science by wise selection of food for optimum health and nutrition. Menu planning must be flexible to take into account changes due to price fluctuation or any special occasion of the family, individual preferences, guest arrivals, etc and menu plant must be uh, within the economic means of the family. If the cost of meal is not within the uh, budget of the food budget of the family, it can't be put into the practice. Now what are the objectives of menu planning? First objective is it should meet the nutritional needs of the family members. Second, to keep the cost of the food within family food budget. Third, to take into account the food preference of individual members. Fourth, uh, using the methods of cooking to retain maximum nutrients. Fifth, to save time, fuel and energy and last, to serve attractive and appetizing meals with no monotony. Now what are the principles of planning diet? First principle is it should meet the nutritional requirement. Menu plant should not only meet the calorie, protein and fat of the, uh, of the family members but it should also provide vitamins and minerals in adequate amount. A balanced diet should provide 60 to 70 percent energy from carbohydrate, 10 to 15 percent energy from protein and 20 to 25 percent energy from the fat. Second principle is meal pattern must fulfill needs. Family meal must cater to the needs of each family members and uh, a growing adolescent boy may need high pro, uh, greater portion of the food at each meal to satisfy his appetite. A young and uh, uh, small child may need soft and uh, less spicy food. A uh, pregnant woman may need uh, greater amount of green leafy vegetables. A heavy workers may need uh, more calorie and more vitamins, uh, B vitamins as compared to other members of the family. The meal pattern should vary with the age, occupation and lifestyle of the family members. Third principle is menu planning should save time and energy. The menu plan should be simple and nutritious. Time and the energy saving devices may be, uh, may be used and the convenience food, use of convenience food may help to save time and energy. Fourth principle is the economics family budget of the family. As I discussed earlier, the cost of the menu plan should be within the economic means of the family. If it is not within the family's budget, it can't be put into the practice. 
Meal plants would give maximum nutrients, loss of nutrients to the different processing and cooking should be minimized. Uh, use of proper uh, uh, pre-cooking processes and appropriate cooking methods should be used to retain higher amount of nutrients in the diet. Sprouting, malting, fermentations, it improves the nutritive value and should be adopted in day-to-day -day cooking. And uh, uh, next uh, principle is consideration for individual likes and dislikes. Menu plants should not only meet the RDA, but it should also consider the individual preferences, particularly vegetarian and non-vegetarian preferences. If a particular greens are, uh, is not liked by an individual, it may be tried in different forms or may be substituted by equally nursing some other foods. The uh, uh, family's uh, food habit, dietary pattern, traditions, customs, religion must be kept in mind while planning diet. And there are many types of food taboos and fallacies are prevalent uh, in different families and among different communities. And the majority of these food fads and fallacies are baseless, not supported by uh, science, and may deprive an important source of nutrient. For example, uh, it is believed in many communities that papaya should not be eaten by pregnant women as it causes abortion or citrus food should not be eaten in colds. This type of beliefs are not supported by science and should be discouraged. Uh, uh, meal plants should provide variety. Monotonous meals will not be consumed. So variety can be introduced in terms of color, flavor, texture, shapes by selecting different kinds of food or by exploring different types of cooking methods. Meal should give satiety. Individual meals should give adequate satiety till it is time for the next meal. Uh, protein and fat gives higher satiety value as compared to carbohydrate. For example, a breakfast of mulli, toast and tea will not provide adequate satiety till lunch time, whereas a breakfast of milk, slices, egg, fruit will provide adequate satiety till lunch time. Menu should include locally available foods. One can plan balanced diet by adopting locally available cereals, millets, fruits and vegetables. Locally available foods are uh, fresh, nutritious, less processed and must be included in the uh, menus. Menu should include health foods. Health foods like uh, fruits, vegetables, oats, soya bean. This type of foods not only provides nutrients but it also provides phytonutrients and they are rich in antioxidants and prevent from disease. There are some points which should be kept in mind while planning a diet. First, for all the nutrients, minimum RDA must be met. For an energy, for example, total calories can be RDA for a specific age group plus minus 50. Energy derived from carbohydrates should not be more than 75%. It is better to include two cereals in one meal. Whole grain cereals, parboiled grains or malted grains give higher nutritive value should be included in menus. Flour should not be sifted as it reduces brands, fibers and minerals. Refined cereals like maida should be taken in minimum quantity. Two to three serving of pulses should be taken every day. Germinated pulses are more nutritious should be included. One egg or one serving of poultry or fish can be included in non-vegetarian diet for protein. 250 ml milk or curd can be included in a balanced diet. Cuts are better because it provides probiotics. Food in rich in fiber should be included in every meal. One fruit of medium size should be included. 
inclusion of slots right are not only help in meeting the vitamin requirements but it also make the meal more attractive and gives high satiety value due to fiber content five serving of fruits and vegetables should be including should be included per day energy derived from fats or oil is 15 to 20% of total calories and 5% from sugar and jaggery it is better to use more than one type of oil because combination of oil gives proper balance of saturated polyunsaturated and unsaturated fatty acid and omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acid choose a diet low in trans fat and cholesterol variety of foods should be used in the menus no single food provides all the nutrients use salt and sugar in moderation preferably each meal should contain all of the five food groups use your processed food ready to eat foods fried packed foods should be done judiciously in case of children energy dense foods should be used now what are the steps in planning diet it it involves three steps first step one should know the rda for adults and different age groups as suggested by icmr uh, nutrient expert committee you uh, uh, now you know what is rda i have already discussed it rda is the estimate of nutrients to be consumed daily to ensure the requirement of all the nutrients of uh, all the individuals in a given populations and icmr has suggested rda for different physiological age group that is infant preschool schoolers school children adolescent boy and girls adult male and female pregnant and lactating mothers a step 2 make a list of foods which are available in the market and which is within the family budget and uh, food list can be prepared by either using icmr table or using exchange list for the convenience of the menu planning icmr has suggested portion size and balanced diet balanced diet is given multiple of the portion size and portion size is given in terms of raw food a step 3 whatever whatever the food is listed at a step 2 should be used and should be converted into recipe and distributed over different meals this is the rda for indians as i already discussed this i am showing you for your ready reference this is here rda for the uh, macronutrients and minerals is given this is rda for the vitamins uh, this is the basic five food groups as i discussed in lecture in my lecture 2 foods are uh, grouped into different uh, classes for the convenience of menu planning based on their nutritive value they are basic four basic five basic seven food groups anyone can be uh, selected for you uh, for as per the convenience here basic five group as suggested by icmr 2010 and it is most commonly used and i have uh, i have given here for your ready reference and food from each group should be selected in each meal this is the icmr table icmr has suggested portion size portion size of each food group for example cereal and millets one portion of cereal and millets consist of 30 g one portion of uh, pulses consist of 30 g one portion of egg consist of 50 g one portion of meat chicken or fish consist of 50 g likewise it is given here and one portion of cereal millets provides 100 uh, calorie 3 g protein to a 20 g carbohydrate and 0.8 g fat one portion of pulse provides 100 calories 6 g protein 15 g carbohydrate and 0.7 g fat by using this table you can calculate the macronutrient content of the plant meals this is the balanced diet 
Now you must be knowing what is balanced diet. Balanced diet is one which provides all the nutrients in right amount and proportion. And balanced diet can be easily achieved by blend of different food groups. And uh, quantity of the foods needed to meet the nutritional requirement varies with age, gender, level of physical activity and physiological state. Balanced diet as suggested by ICMR is given here and uh, for example take an example of sedentary um, male and female 12.5 uh, means 12.5 amount of the cereal and millets will be 12.5 into 30 that is 375 and for that girls it will be 270 gram. Similarly the balanced diet for infant children and adolescent is given here. This is the recent guideline of ICMR and NIN. Meal plan for my plate for the day. It, this my plate for the day typically illustrate proportion of the foods from different food groups to be sourced for a 2000 calorie Indian diet. This, this plate provides 2000 calorie and uh, uh, this uh, my plate suggests that vegetables, fruits, green leafy vegetables, tubers should form half of the plate of the recommended food per day. This plate recommends 45% of the energy, 45% of the total energy that is 2000 calorie should be made from cereal and millets, 17% of total energy should come from pulses 10 percent of total energy should come from milk and milk products and uh, fat should contribute uh, less than 20 or equal to 20 percent of the total calorie the intake of the vegetable should be 350 gram intake of the fruits should be 150 gram and the other major portion are cereal and millets and pulses. Pulses 90 grams should be used and in non-vegetarian diet, flash food or egg may substitute pulse and uh, one should also include 20 gram nuts and wild seeds for and these plates prevent hidden hunger that is the micronutrient deficiency and protects from the disease. So this uh, points should be kept in mind while planning a diet. So I used one term food exchange list keep food uh, list of the food can be uh, uh, prepared from food exchange list. So what is food exchange list? Food exchange list can be defined as a list which contains a group of foods in required amount in a specified amount which have approximately equal carbohydrate protein and fat values. This does not mean that uh, values of two foods within that particular groups are identical. There will be some difference but they tend to nullify each other because variety of foods are generally selected from each food, uh, each list uh, for day to day cooking. Hence any food from the given exchange list can be substituted or exchanged for any other food in that list. Uh, this is various type of exchange lists are available. Uh, exchange lists suggested by uh, NIN ICMR are best suited for Indian condition and they are 8 exchange list, milk exchange list, pulse exchange list, flash exchange list, vegetable A exchange list vegetable B exchange list, fruit exchange list, cereal exchange list and fat exchange list. This is the milk exchange list. This list uh, contains uh, different types of milk and milk products and one food in a specified amount can be substituted or exchanged for exchange with another food. For example, 650 ml of butter milk can be exchanged for 30 gram cheese or 210 gram curd or 30 gram khoa or 90 ml buffalo milk or 180 ml of milk cow and this will provide 100 calories 5 gram protein and negligible carbohydrate 
exchange the legume on pulse exchange and actually this exchange list contains a variety of the foods one can select food of uh, his or her liking and have variety each day and avoid monotony this is the flash food exchange list any one can substitute 60 gram beef with 60 gram fish or say uh, two number of egg or uh, uh, 60 gram of mutton this is the vegetable exchange list this this list uh, contains healthy vegetables and popularly eaten other vegetables vegetable exchange b it it contains root vegetables and some non popular type of other vegetables this is the fruit exchange uh, this uh, 90 gram of avla can be exchanged for 75 gram of apple or 35 gram of banana and it will provide 50 calorie and 10 gram carbohydrate this is again fruit exchange list and this is cereal exchange uh, uh, by 30 gram of any cereal can be exchanged with each other this is the fat exchange list generally this exchange list help a person to plan a wide variety of menus within his daily allowance this is the meal plan for adult men with sedentary activities and this meal plan contains recommended amount of each food group the breakfast menus uh, uh, consist of uh, tea or coffee or upma or poha uh, instead of upma or poha you may select four number of idli three number of dosa or four number of uh, paratha uh, with curries and half katori dahis uh, lunch menu consists of rice two cups roti two numbers dal 1 cup, vegetable curry 1 cup, salad 7 to 8 slices, cut half cup. Similarly, the menus of uh, other um, meal is given here and by using ICMR tables, you can uh, calculate the uh, calorie, protein and fat content of these meals. So with this, today's session is over as you learnt uh, menu importance of menu planning because it saves time and energy and you can have a very good diet for your family and uh, you can keep your family uh, healthy and away from disease thank you